It's a rap. It's a rap. Hey, it's a rap. Hello, hello. Welcome to It's a Rap, where I help you achieve your finished look. Hell, makeup, nails, fashion, and most. Yeah, it's time for you to choose from what you are doing. Hello, hello. Welcome back to It's a Rap, where I help you achieve your finished look. In this video, I have two of these beautiful poly gel kits from a double dip these are the bellavina poly gel kits and i grabbed two of them so both of them come with this card with the nail shapes and a ruler and these are the colors in this set under it well inside of the box it says oh hey beauty and then up under this we have our instructions and we have another box and I love this box I will definitely be keeping it and inside of this box we have all of our essentials, okay? We even get a lamp. We get some of the clamps to hold the dual forms down. We get a poly gel brush and spatula duo. Look, rhinestones, y'all. We get two polishes a base and a top coat we get some lip solution okay and this they call it builder gel liquid but it's basically slip solution a case of dual forms and i have so much of this stuff y'all i think i'm gonna do a big giveaway and give some of this stuff away we have this cable for the lamp and this lamp it wasn't wrapped or anything it looks a little kind of worn so I don't know about that um, some tweezers and a file so let me open the other one and see what that one is looking like got that same card and I got two sets of glitters. I thought the glitter poly gels were just so pretty, but they have a lot of different collections. So we have this same little box under here. So let's see. Yeah, it looked the same way. Just look like it done been through some things. And these lamps have the logo on it. So I might give these away because I have so many of these. So I don't need all these lamps. So we got all of the same stuff that was in the other kit. So the name of the kits that I got... They're on this little invoice sheet. I got the Dazzling Edition and the Blushing Heart Edition. So those are the two that I got. And of course, I'm a coupon girl. So I use the Labor Day coupon to get 40% off. So this is what I paid. Both of them were like $60 by themselves, and I paid $71 for both of them. So not bad, not bad at all, but the reason why we are here today is because today is Wheeltastic Wednesday, so we are doing a random nail challenge, and what I have put on the wheel, we have the poly gels okay so I put the poly gels on a wheel so we're gonna spin to see what we're gonna be doing okay and before that I'm gonna swatch all of them for you 
But before that, I'm going to put my comments on the screen from my last video. Thank you all so much for watching and commenting and chatting with me in the comments. I really appreciate the engagement. So definitely make sure that you all subscribe to my channel and comment on my videos. I respond to all of my comments, okay? So definitely give me a comment so we can chat a little bit, okay? So for the swatches, I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way and then we're gonna swatch all of these beautiful colors and then we're gonna spin the wheel. Okay, so I went ahead and removed all of the caps and the little silver thing that stops it from coming out, like the little seal. I removed all of that because that takes some time in itself. For the sake of the video, I'm going to use one of the lamps so you can see how it works. So this is the on button here and it comes on like that. Of course, you can use it like this, or you can open it up and make it to where it stands up and then you slide your hand under it like that. So from the first collection, we have 128, 129, 130, 132, 133 and 136 and for the other collection we have 149 151 152 154, 157, and 162. So these are all of the colors and they are sparkling and shining and they just look amazing. I cannot wait to use these. So I did put this on the wheel and we're gonna see which ones we'll be using. So now I'm gonna put the wheels on the screen. So this is the last week for the birthday edition of the Wheeltastic Wednesday Random Nail Challenge. So for the last time, let's select the things I do or like. Okay, we got Betty Boop, definitely something I love. Let's pick the number of colors. Okay, we got two. So I'm gonna pick two colors from my colors and two from the poly gel. Okay, for the Bella Vena colors, first we got 149. Okay, and we got 157. Let's pick the nail shape. Okay, we got edge, and I love that shape, so we're going to do that shape. Next, let's pick the length. Okay, we got long. So for our first color, we got white. For the second color, we got yellow. So I'm gonna look through all of my stuff, get some 
things together and then I'm gonna come back so that we can get started. I went ahead and applied my edge tips and I feel like this length will be long enough. So I went ahead and applied those. The two colors that I picked were the 149 and the 157. This one and that blue one. For the other two colors, the yellow and the white, I grabbed this lemon jelly color. This is from Young Nails. I got the Young Nails Speed White and the Young Nails Speed Clear over here. And uh, let's see what happens, okay? For Betty Boop, I got this stamping plate here. I think I got this from the Attitude Shop. It was on um, the haul video that I did. It was either the Attitude Shop or the Nail Remedy. They were in the same video, so definitely check that out. And I'm gonna use some of the rhinestones that came with the kit. Probably the blue ones since they kind of match with that blue poly gel. I'm excited to, to see, so let's get started. For a monomer, of course, I'm going to be using the Afro Glam nails. So on two of the nails, I'm going to show you what I have in mind. I think I can go in with some of the white at the bottom of the nail and then put the yellow on the nail bed area or do the reverse of that and possibly do like a marble look And then with the white, I think if I put some of the poly gel on top of the white, because they are clear and glittery, I think it will really stand out. So after doing this first one, I really don't like that. So I think I'm going to do all of the nails in the white acrylic and then put the different colors on top of it because where that white was, you can really see the yellow. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna get all of these white and then I'm gonna start adding the lemon jelly and the poly gel. So on the pinky, I went ahead and buffed it. And I'm gonna use some of my swipe to wipe the dust away. Now I'm gonna go on top of it with the poly gel. And I have some of my slip solution here in a little dappin dish. And I'm gonna be using the brush that came in the kit. And the first one that I put on, it has a little bit of yellow inside of it. So that's really going to look great when I add that lemon jelly. So I'm liking the way that this is looking. I think I'm just going to do this for all of them. And I may alternate, like put the blue going into the yellow. I think that'll look cool too. So for this one, I'm going to put that blue one at the top. And then the one that has a few of the yellow pieces. And I'm going to add a little bit more of that one over here. And poly gel is pretty easy to work with. I like the fact that you don't have to 
I guess move really fast because it doesn't cure until you put it in the lamp. And putting it on this white background is really helping everything kind of work out. So that's great. And I just realized that I didn't buff this nail like I buffed the pinky nail. So the poly gel is not really sticking. So as I continue, I'm gonna buff the nails, then I'm going to apply my poly gel, and then I'm just gonna pat it out. So if I was doing this on a real person, of course, definitely don't forget to buff it or it'll just come off. That is why we have practice hands. I don't typically use a lot of poly gel and recently I started getting into it. So just like with anything, it's a learning curve and sometimes you forget steps. With this poly gel, I feel like for me, it works best when my brush is drenched in the water. Well, not the water, the solution. <laughs> and after I get it how I want it, I go ahead and cure it just a little bit so that it doesn't move. I also should have went in with a base coat before I applied this. That would have helped it stick and stay also. So what we have learned, buff the acrylic, apply a base coat, and then go in with the poly gel. So I'm going to cure all of this and then I'm going to remove the tacky layer and then I'm gonna go on top of that with the lemon jelly acrylic. Acrylic will basically stick to anything. The only thing you have to worry about is with the poly gel, it has to have something to kind of adhere to. Okay, she is out of the lamp and I had a little boo-boo here. This hit the top of the lamp. So after I apply the acrylic and everything, it should be okay. So I'm going to rub this with the swipe. And for the lemon jelly, I'm just going to kind of apply it in like a swirl fashion and kind of fill in some of the gaps. And I'm going to encapsulate it with the Young Nail Speed Clear. And these nails are giving me birthday cake. So this is actually perfect. And I'm basically just adding a little more so that some more of that yellow tint can be shown. I have been liking the Speed Clear with the Afro Glam Monomer. So my phone ran out of space and I had to delete some things and now we're back, okay? So I'm going to file the nails with this drill. I did go ahead and finish up the encapsulation off camera. I'm gonna file it up, stamp it up, rhinestone it up, and then we're gonna be done. Okay, so this is the stamping plate. And I think I just wanna do 
different combinations of her. I like the full body ones, so I think I might do something with those on each nail and add some rhinestones. As far as for the process, first I'm going to apply the sticky base coat. This is by Maniology. Then I'm going to do my stamping with this black polish. After that dries, I'm going to go in with the smudge free top coat. After that dries, I'm going to go in with the base coat and apply some rhinestones and cure that. Then I'm going to go on top of that with the top coat. So that that so those are the steps that I'm going to take. And if you like this silicone hand, I'll put the video of me using it for the first time in the cards. And I love how the poly gel and that lemon jelly acrylic look on top of this white. It is giving me birthday cake, cupcake. It's giving me all of those vibes, which is great since this series was for my birthday. So for the last week, I think the wheel really picked a great combination so that we can go out strong now y'all know i'm not gonna leave y'all hanging i have already ordered and received some products for christmas so you know we're gonna have to do a christmas edition of the wheeltastic wednesday random nail challenge okay so I cannot wait for you guys to see my haul, to see some of the new goodies that I got and all of the Christmas things that I ordered. I still have some stuff that is on the way, but I ordered it from AliExpress. So y'all, it may be Christmas day, January, February before I get it. And this plate has some really fine detailing. So if it doesn't pick up to my liking, I just redo it. So I didn't know how this poly gel and acrylic set would go. I must say the base turned out a lot better than I thought. All right, so now I'm going to apply some base coat, put some rhinestones around that cuticle area, and maybe in some different places as I start placing them, I'll kind of see how I like it. And then I'm going to cure that and show you what it looks like.
All right, she is done. I went ahead and top coated it off camera and this is what it looks like. Y'all, I absolutely love these, okay? This is something I would definitely rock. So, man, this is one of those ones where I wish I would have done this on my nails so that I could wear this for forever. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of this look. Let me know if you have ever tried to mix poly gel and acrylic together in a set. That was definitely something new and different for me. So I'm excited I got to try it in this video. And I am loving the bling. I tried some different things with my rhinestone placement. So let me know what y'all think. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment so that your comment can be featured on my next video. Always remember to keep God first, family second, and career third. And guess what, y'all? It's a wrap. I will see you in the next video. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, it's a wrap, it's a wrap, hey, it's, it's a wrap. Hello, hello, welcome to It's a Wrap, where I help you achieve your finished look. Hell, makeup, nails, fashion, and most. Yeah, it's time for you to choose from what you would dose. It's a one-stop shop, it's a wrap, yeah, we do that. Go subscribe, hit the bell, leave a like, and just sit back.